this is Jay Thorny 12 once again and uh, I'm going to show you now how to actually replace the bell gear replace the, how to replace the bell gear onto your RC vehicle's engine often you'll have to remove the bell gear in fact to replace the clutch or in order to replace the bell gear often as well uh, you might need to replace the bell gear sometimes after you have had a too loose or a too tight gear mesh and then often these gears here can actually strip or go kind of wrong okay so here is our bell gear make sure all the kind of washers are on there now just slide it over slide it on make sure everything is in its positions once it has kind of slid on we need to then replace the e-clip onto if I can even pick it up then we need to replace the e-clip onto here now sometimes or on bigger engines there is actually a screw here and in which case what you need to do is obviously just screw it up be very careful with that screw I've had experiences that they will kind of break quite easily if you over tighten them or cross thread them or something so just put the e-clip where it's meant to go or slide it there we are and then take the small nose pliers and then slide it on there we are that is our e-clip in the position I believe that is on there correctly and then just check the flywheel or no sorry the bell gear spins okay there we are and then all we have to do is actually replace the buggy replace the engine back into the buggy and then there you are enjoy your racing thank you very much for watching just to let you know that last night I actually went out into an underground car park with this Acme MB16 and the bug crusher had a brilliant time that was when in fact I burnt the clutch out by doing too many donuts I think anyway then videos will be up shortly I'm struggling to find time to edit them at the moment uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much.